I don't know, this is my first attempt in installing a culvert, so wish me luck. I'm telling you, this place just gets better and better. <laughs> well, nothing seems to be going right. The last two days have been struggle. This is all just a big test. How much can you take before you just give up uh, or you keep going? All right, so the ditch is all dung. Dung. <laughs> what? Oh my god. God, I can't talk. The ditch is dung. <laughs> all right, so now that the ditch is all dug, Spencer is ready to start on the next part of this project, which is digging out and installing the culvert. Yeah, and to start that off, we need to get some rock to go on the ends and that'll not only be a little bit of a decorative touch, but also it'll be more of retaining the dirt. Right, so how many do you think you need to do on the road? How many culverts do you have to install? Uh, I would say at least seven or eight. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. And lucky for us, we have an abundance of rock on the property. So we're gonna go get some right now. That apple tree's right over there. Oh, show me the apple tree. Yeah, last night I was working in the camper and Spencer all of a sudden comes in with this tiny green apple. So he found an apple tree over here, right next to the cabin site. It's big. Oh yeah, I can see a bunch up there. Uh -huh. I see a bunch up there, Mama. Yeah, there's, there's an a, apple tree. There's a bunch of apples. I'm telling you, this place just gets better and better. Now I wonder with this area, there's a high concentration of fruit trees between plum, we found a peach, there's an apple tree. If this is just a site that someone lived at at one point or stayed at, and that explains the wall or what the deal is. If it's just kind of natural throughout the property and we'll find tons of fruit trees. I don't really know. I have you but think I so? Yeah, it's possible. So, here's my tiny apple. Obviously, they get a little bit bigger in this. There, I, I saw a couple that were a little bit bigger in this, but I'm assuming this is a Granny Smith variety because they were all grap, grap. They're all green. But uh, give it a shot. It's so not totally ready to eat, but. Tastes like an apple. Halfway, and our straps came loose. Oh, yeah, that's not good uh, because there's a pretty steep cliff right there. That would suck if one of them went tumbling down the side of the cliff. Uh. So I think I found my spot for my first culvert. It's actually my second culvert for the entire driveway, but uh, my first one that I'm going to attempt right now. The reason why is because. It's a pretty easy section, so it's a good place to kind of make my mistakes and learn on how to install these. Uh, well, I know how to install them, it's just theoretically installing versus actually installing, you know, two different things. This area is good because not only is it a low area, so I know for a fact that this is where the water's gonna drain, but also there's a lot of clay right here, so it'll be easy to dig out and, um, I dug the ditch a little bit deeper away from where the water was running over the road. Reason being is because there's two tulip trees right here on the side of cliff edge. 
and I want to put the culvert right in the middle of that so I don't disturb the roots too much on either of those trees. I don't know, this is my first attempt in installing a culvert, so wish me luck. Good job. So my first culvert is installed. A little more labor intensive than I imagined, but also the humidity is kind of, doesn't help. But anyways, it's installed, looks good, but I mean, I guess we won't really know how it performs until our first rain. I still got seven more to do, and my next one is right up the road. So uh, before it gets any darker, I'm gonna go ahead and start digging that one out. getting easier? Well, nothing seems to be going right. The last two days have been struggle. This is like crunch time for the excavator rental because it's due back on Tuesday. And this is the weekend before Tuesday. Yeah, it's and due back in a couple days and there's still so much work that needs to be done. Like I was, I was supposed to be knocking out between yesterday and today, uh, at least a couple culverts a day. And I got one in yesterday haven't got one in today because of weather and now I have a generator go bad on me. Because I've ran into a rock in a few areas so I had to go get a jackhammer, which it kind of worked out yesterday because it started raining. So I went and got a jackhammer. So yesterday was kind of a wash and today it rained half the day. I go to start working, start using the jackhammer one time I, st I stopped the generator, go to another spot to start jackhammering again. 
generator's dead as a doornail. Like, what are the odds? It's just... And on top of that, we use the generator every single day for the camper. Like, we need it for power, so we need to get a new one. Yeah. It's not even like, oh, just work on the ones that don't need a jackhammer, because we need a generator. Right. This is just how it goes. There's days that literally nothing seems to go right. Weeks that nothing seems to go right. And then all of a sudden, everything starts to go right. I want more bubbles. That's how it always kind of feels, so. Not to me, it feels like everything's always going wrong constantly. I know. The, the car breaks, the car's still broken. Poison ivy, generator breaks, mm. hitting rock, <laughs> toilet overflows. Everything's gonna start going correctly here soon. This is all just a big test. How much can you take before you just give up uh, or you keep going? Everything's gonna be okay. It feels funny having this conversation about things going wrong while I'm blowing bubbles. <laughs> gotta keep the kids entertained while we film. I want more bubbles. You got it, girl. Woo! All right, let's go get a generator. It is what it is. Bubbles make everything better though, you know? So how many culverts have you done so far? And how many do you have left? Eight so far and I still got at least, I would probably say another three more. Oh goodness. Okay, but at least we're on the tail end of this. It's been a long road to get here. Pun Seriously. intended. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> yeah, this project has just been taking obviously a lot longer than we thought it would. Like we originally rented the excavator for one week, thinking that would be more than enough time, like for sure. Mm -hmm. And then it took them a whole week just to dig the ditch along the road. Like it, it's a long road, okay? <laughs> and then we needed it for another week to start doing the culverts and we thought, oh, for sure, one week will be enough for that. Well. That week has come and gone. So now we are on our third week of this rental. Mm -hmm. Just the second week alone on working on the culverts. Yeah, I just keep running into rock and that's what really slows the entire process down because you'll go and jackhammer some, think you get it enough broken up, mm -hmm. and then it's just like it's still another layer or so that before it like really breaks apart. Yeah, that is slowing the process down and also the weather. We've been getting a lot of rain. But with the rain, have you seen, are the culverts doing the job? Yeah, yeah, I, I'm That's out here. Good. I'm out here in the rain a lot. I'm probably going a little overkill on the amount of culverts. <laughs> uh, but the, the thing is, it's just there's a lot of hips and valleys on, uh, along the driveway. So it's like you can't just leave a valley with no culvert. So it's Right, well, and I would rather you do more than not enough because right. the last thing I would want is like, all the gravel to just be right. swept away. All right, I need to ride back to the truck. <laughs> There's a lot of mud, and I don't have my boots on. I'm gonna hop on. Oh my goodness, you didn't even say. I was, I was gonna say. <laughs> you didn't on feel me of, jumping? I was gonna say on the count of three. <laughs> oh no! I just go for it. Why are you breathing heavy? All right, now run. Yeah, right. Baby, there's people that like do 5Ks and marathons and stuff with people on their backs. Uh, yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> good, good response. They also aren't carrying a camera in one hand too. <laughs> That's true. <sighs> Baby, I can easily do that with you on my back. All right, let's try. <laughs> I would literally just go flat down into the mud. all set up nice and comfortable right? Not supposed to happen. So luckily, I found the pin. It looks like it'll, it'll be pretty easy to reinstall, but you can definitely tell this thing's a rental. This is actually our second one from the same place, not because we took the other one back and then rented a new one, 
but because the other one overheated on us, uh, when you take the radiator cap, you can see a bunch of rusty water, clearly. Them and the rentees only put water in it in the uh, cooling system instead of a 50-50 antifreeze mix. But anyways, this pin is mat missing the little latch pin. So that's why it came out. So the only thing I have is this cotter pin. Is what it is. So this morning we're going to go head out on a hike. We haven't done this in a really long time just because Spencer's been so busy working on the road. So I'm excited to get to go explore some. We definitely, we don't do this enough. Yeah. <laughs> we got a lot of area to explore. Right. I will go discover it all. Go anywhere to uncover the bold in me mountain sides. Valleys wide, I will go. I'll get lost just so I can be found and I'll bring you along and we will be bound. Oh my gosh, you hear that? All right, so what kind of tree is this? This is a winged sumac tree. It is uh, obviously in full pollination because the uh, bees are just going crazy around it. Oh my gosh, it's so loud. Yeah, I thought we were coming up on a hive or something. It's a crow mama. Here, keep, no, <laughs> she thought it was a drone. <laughs> it does kind of sound like a drone. Your parents might be YouTubers. If you hear bees, but think it's a drone. <laughs> <laughs> There's my boys, our little trail dogs. We're walking back through the field right now where all those bees are and it's just crazy. The second you get into the clearing near them, you can just smell the sweetness in the air. Yeah, so this whole field right here, it used to be a huge pasture long ago. So we're kind of thinking Maybe one day, this could be a horse pasture. I don't know. I guess we'll see. What's this? It's poop. You think that's coyote poop? Yeah, probably. They've been coming really close the last couple nights. Can you spot the bear? Does that feel good, buddy? You don't work alone anymore. I always have a little helper. <laughs> yeah, literally every single time Spencer goes to go to the excavator or to the tractor, Cam is just running towards it. He gets very upset if he gets left, so it's very sweet. <laughs> One day, we're gonna put him to work. It's 
Okay. I'll run. You'll run? All right, run yeah, for it. Outrun the storm. You gotta outrun the storm? So today is a very wet one and it's not supposed to be. Uh, the weather forecast just says cloudy with no chance of rain and it's been raining nonstop all day. <laughs> the only thing that sucks about this is because I still have two culverts to do and the rental is due back tomorrow and I still have some other things to kind of few areas of the ditch where I got to kind of clean up and remove a little bit of rock. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Hopefully I can do it. 